In identifying the NBA's ultimate clutch player, you don't have to look any further than Jerry West. Jerry uh, was a guy that just had super confidence and it bordered on being cocky. It's almost like you don't think you can fail. And particularly when the game's on the line. You know, a lot of times in my career, you know, we'd go over and have a timeout and be a close game or a tie game, and I didn't want to play to be right. Just give, give me the basketball and let's see what happens. And I think that's the kind of attitude you have to have. You can't be afraid. The Western champion Los Angeles Lakers lean heavily once more on Jerry West. Always tough to stop. You couldn't play a small guy against him because he'd shoot over him. You couldn't play a big guy against him, try and take away the jump shot because he'd go around him with his speed. Jerry has a way of setting up that marvelous jump shot that almost never misses. Jerry West was born to score. He possessed lightning quickness and classic form. He became the model for all shooters. I think I was given some sort of a gift to shoot the basketball. And I always felt if you would just keep a relatively straight arm, with the ball resting in it, and use your legs and have a nice follow through, that shooting was simple. Top professionals like Jerry West live in a world that echoes with the lavish praise of millions of sportsmen. Yet he somehow remains a quiet, unassuming young man, dedicated to the sport and a self-made promise to win. Pre-game tension is the most important part of the basketball night or the basketball game itself. Uh, you have to get some thought about the guy you're going to guard. Uh, what might be more effective against a different team? What might be your best play against this team? What can we do to beat this team? Jerry West's skills were so prolific that even his most formidable opponents were rendered defenseless. Great players in the NBA, uh, players who are household names, would tell you, take it easy on me. He was a clutch player. He was never afraid to take a key shot. And he could shoot that ball and he could run that court. Right close by to his offensive prowess was his defensive ability. And to me, Jerry West was the most underrated defensive player uh, in that era. He displayed that tenacity on defense, becoming one of the league's top defensive guards. But what also set him apart was his intense will to win. Jerry West, greatest competitor I think I've ever, I've ever seen. Years ago, his nose was broken nine times. And he never complained once. A long pass up to Baylor. Baylor goes in, has it! It seemed that every time he was called upon, why he answered the call very well. And West jumps, hits! He stopped the stop of that jumper. But the talent obviously has to be there. If Jerry had been just another guard who shot it pretty well or didn't have the moves to free himself or get away from just about any kind of defensive pressure, you know, that wouldn't have worked and he wouldn't have become Mr. Clutch. West personified the meaning of pressure performer, rising to new heights when the game's level of importance increased. 
There's always one guy late in the ball game that seems to end up with the basketball. I was not afraid. Uh, I thought it was easier late in the game to get a shot. And I think late in the ball game, your concentration is so great uh, because one bad play, one terrible foul, one turnover might decide that ball game for you. And late in the basketball game, that's when I think I had the ability to concentrate best. And you do have that tremendous surge of adrenaline. To West, every loss was crushing, but none more so than the six NBA Finals that his Lakers lost to the Boston Celtics. Ever the perfectionist, West averaged 33 points a game in those finals, yet blamed himself for every defeat. The opinions of opposing coaches be damned. I want to say that Jerry West was absolutely fantastic. That was one of the greatest exhibitions I ever saw in my life. Lakers maintain possession as West goes in. I was an athlete way before my time. I had a huge vertical. Um, probably no one in the league was, was much faster than me. And certainly the competitive part of it, I would put my, myself among any player to play the game. Today also, winning is all matter. That's what drove me. You're the Black Mamba, he said yes. I said, you ever hear of a mongoose? I said, I'm a mongoose and they kill every black mamba. He said, I'm not an ordinary mamba. I said, well, I'm not an ordinary mongoose. Eight seconds, six, five, four, three, two, two. It's over! <laughs> Watch West. He taps it away, tries to beat the clock, beats the movie, beats the clock, the Lakers win. Six, five, the Busher shoots, hit with three seconds to go. Two seconds, one second, West throws it up. He makes it, West throws it up and makes it. 